Well, that little Devin, she's a spitfire, boy. She got, a, she got excited today. You're crazy. She was up at 5 a.m. this morning. I was in my office at 4.45. At 5 a.m., she was walking in the dining room praying in the Holy Ghost. She's just a little excited. No, she's pregnant with something. And I was raised to tell her, I'll never forget the first revival I took her to when we got married. I made her sing a song with a cassette tape. We had been married four, four or five weeks. We went to the first revival. I said, here you go. This is a great song. I want you to sing it. She listened to it. She goes, I don't want to sing that. I said, you've got to sing that. Why do I got to sing that? Because that's what preacher's wives do. I'm setting some women free. They don't know whether to shout, cry, run. You're nervous right now, but God's about to set your husband free. He's about to look at you and say, baby, take off. It's about to be a new season. I looked at her. I said, I want you to sing this song. She put the song in the cassette player. The name of the song was the most unscriptural song I've ever heard in my life, but hands clapped and foot danced and everybody got happy. And the name of the song was UFOs. If I'm lying, I'm dying. And it said there's going to be a whole lot of unidentified flying objects one of these days zipping through the air at the speed of light coming up out of the grave. It's hard to understand if you're not just another. I can't even remember. It's pitiful. She sang that song at the first revival and this is what she looked like. There's going to be a whole lot of unidentified flying objects one of these days zipping through the air at the speed of light coming up out of the grave and I was sitting over there and she went it's hard to understand if you're just another man zipping through the world of haze there's going to be a whole lot of unidentified and when she got through singing she looked at me no anointing on me no joy in the Wallace house for a few days well she ought to be submissive no I shouldn't have been a control freak Sit down. I'm preaching tonight. You preach this morning. Sit down. She just came in. I'm totally kidding. Well, I'm afraid if my wife starts, she'll never stop. That's the plan. That's the plan. Well, I was raised women were to keep silent in the church. And where'd that get you? How's that working out for you at home? How's that working out with your kids that hate church because your mother, their mother has been put in a cage and religion told her to keep her mouth shut and you agreed with the spirit of religion and we have muzzled an entire generation of Debras who have been qualified because they've been on the backside of a field under a tree waiting on a word from the Lord and I came to say it's time to rip the lid off and let the daughters prophesy. I'm about to get off this women thing so some of y'all can get your joy back. Well, you better be careful. They'll want to be bishops. I've been doing this 23 years. I've never met a woman in my life that wanted to be a bishop. If I throw you the bishop keys, duck. You don't want to be an overseer of crazy churches and crazy people that don't have a plan and don't have a prayer life and don't have a, a purpose and they just, you don't want that. I'm telling you right now, sisters don't want a title. They want an open door and a seat at a table. And I think it's time for the kingdom of God to say, let the company of sisters. Sit down. Well, Brother Wallace, I'm trying to figure out how do we get a spirit of praise loose in our church? Let your wife dance like Miriam danced. <laughs> I've been plagued for four weeks. Y'all need to have a men's conference. I ain't doing it. You get 500 men in a room and they go like this. I don't know if I like that song. You get 2,000 women in this room four weeks ago, they walk in going, I am trying to tell you that the Lord is taking the sisters. He's putting a word in their mouth and a dance in their feet. I need a Miriam who 
was thankful that the horse and the rider had been swallowed up in the water? Somebody give him a 10 second break break. Yeah!